In this Mac screencast library tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert the background of an image to black and white. So we have an image here with four flowers and then we have a kind of a white background as well as some green blades of grass. So what I'm going to show you how to do is we're going to keep the four flowers in full vibrant color but change the grass and the background and the rest of the image to black and white. So the first thing we want to do is we want to select the quick selection tool or you could use hotkey A. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose the brush size and that is up here and I'm going to go with a brush size of five pixels and you can choose a brush size uh, depending on the size of the area you're going to select. We're going to be selecting the flowers so it's a fairly small area so I think a five pixel brush size should work. So again, once we click on that quick selection tool, it's going to put the mouse cursor near one of the flowers and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and just drag the mouse kind of a, around the outer edge of the flower. And as I do that, it selects the flower. And then I pick up my uh, finger off the mouse key and then move to the next flower, hold the left mouse key down and do the exact same thing. And we'll get this flower. And the, the reason why it's working so quickly is because we have a good brush size selected for this. If we had too large of a brush size, it would be selecting too much. And if we had a brush size that was too small, it wouldn't be selecting enough. So sometimes you have to play with it until you find the right brush size. But once you do, it's really easy to make your selections. Okay, so I've selected all four of the flowers. So what I'm going to do next is I want to select the opposite of the flowers. So what you want to do is you want to click on select and then inverse because we're selecting the inverse, the opposite of our actual selection. So once we've made our selection on the flowers and we've selected the inverse, that means we're now working with everything in the image except the flowers. So now all we need to do is click on Enhance and Convert to Black and White. And you'll see here's our before and here's our after picture. I'm going to click OK. And just like that, we have four perfect looking flowers in full color and the rest of the image is now in a cool black and white. And this is a great way to make whatever your subject of your image is stand out really well and it's really easy to do in Photoshop Elements 8 for the Mac.